and I had a CT scan. I had all this stuff going on in my belly. And there were two masses. And one was fairly large inside, lying sideways. It was two inches by four inches. And then one on top of that, smaller, and I could actually feel it and see it. That surgeons looked at and said, well, I don't know what that is. It's, you know, it, they figured there was infection in there. It hurt when I moved. It was probably cancerous. And then it started decreasing and going away. And now my belly is flat again. So the, the good news is that changed right away and I get weekly labs to monitor the electrolytes. And what it showed is my kidneys were improving and they're in, the, according to the lab work, they're functioning in the normal levels now. Hey, Gail, thanks so much for coming to spend some time with me today. Hi, glad I'm here. Me too, and I'm looking forward to hearing your story. So okay. can you start off by telling the listeners how you were feeling prior to coming to QHS? Well, before QHS, essentially I was dying. I was getting my final, exactly. I know I was fading very quickly. I got real sick a year ago, and the only thing that was really keeping me alive was LWS and the promise of med beds. I knew I had a job to do, a mission, a reason for being here, but it was it was looking like I wasn't going to make it. So I yeah, I was final arrangements. I was fading so fast. Oh my gosh, Gail, that's that's crazy. I mean, I can't even imagine. You look vibrant. <laughs> well, yeah, from the head up. <laughs> and and what you're seeing is my spiritual practices, but my body's been failing. So, so to explain it, to go back, how that all happened is at the age of 20, I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease mm. and I'm 69 now. So that's 49 years of dealing with this chronic condition. And during that time, I had quite a few surgeries where they had, they did bowel resections and they took out a lot of small intestine and my entire colon. And also I was on a lot of those heavy duty infusion drugs, which really undermined my health. So because of my spiritual practices and I'm, I'm very active as well, or was, I got really sick a year ago and for whatever reason, systems were just failing and my digestive system totally stopped working. And what had happened, I kept dehydrating and I'd have to go to the hospital. And um, then also I lost a ton of weight really, really fast because a lot of my intestines are gone. I have what's called short bowel syndrome now and it just wasn't working. Uh, what was there stopped working. So I was dehydrating, losing a lot of weight. I lost 40 pounds in six months oh and my. a healthy weight for me is like 120, which is what I was. And I'm only five foot two and now I'm 80 pounds, which is, yeah, it's scary. It's real. I'm just skin and bones because nothing gets absorbed. It doesn't matter what I eat. I went, I went to a lot of nutritionists and I was under the care of a natural path and I just kept losing weight. So anyway, long story short, when I got the, the device, things started changing. I was still on IV fluids because of the dehydration. My kidneys really took a hit as well. And so I'm still on IV fluids every day. I have a pick line in my arm and six hours a day, I'm tethered to an IV pole for hydration and electrolytes. And, but what happened right off with the device was right away my kidneys kicked in and started working. So for almost a year during that whole time when I kept dehydrating so badly and having to go to the hospital, uh, my, my kidneys took a hit and I was hardly peeing at all. But when I used the device within days, the volume of the urine significantly increased. Wow. And then, and then let me back you up really quick. How long ago did you receive your device? Uh, three months ago. Today's okay. exactly three months. 
which I wanted to do it at three months. I knew I'd have good news. So the, the good news is that changed right away and I get weekly labs to monitor the electrolytes. And what it showed is my kidneys were improving and they're in, the, according to the lab work, they're functioning in the normal levels now. So wow. that, yeah, that is a really big deal. That is definitely a big deal. And do you t supplement, do you take electrolytes or you just drink water? No, no, I have to do a lot of electrolytes different ways too. Okay. Because okay. again, I don't really absorb them. So I do all kinds of things that the naturopathic doctor showed me. But there's more, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is exciting because it's healing. It's going in the other direction. So the kidneys got better. And the same thing as everybody else is reporting. I felt much calmer and I was sleeping better as well. So those were good things. And then the other really big thing that started happening is the last time I was in the hospital and I had a CT scan, I had all this stuff going on in my belly and there were two masses and one was fairly large inside lying sideways, it was two inches by four inches. And then one on top of that smaller and I could actually feel it and see it. There was this weird thing growing on me. And surgery was totally out. I mean, I was so depleted. Nobody wanted to touch that. And it was probably cancerous because I had cancer also two and a half years ago and when they took out more intestine. So um, this was going on with, all of that. And um, the device over, I think it was about probably a month. All of that started getting smaller. Wow. It was going away. So the one on top that I can feel and see that surgeons looked at and said, well, I don't know what that is. It's, you know, it, they figured there was infection in there. It hurt when I moved. It was probably cancerous. And then it started decreasing and going away. And now my belly is flat again. There's a little heart tissue. I was hoping to say it was totally gone, but it's not. There's a little bit of scar tissue there. But I assume that the one that's inside that we can't see has been going away as well. Oh, yeah, that's incredible. Do you put the device on your tummy or do you just carry it like in your pocket or something? No, I wear it on my tummy all day. Most of the time I stick it in my pillowcase at night, but sometimes I figured out a way to put it on my stomach when I sleep. And the nights that I did that, it's interesting. I slept 10, 11 hours when I did that. So my body is healing like crazy. Oh, my gosh, that's so I'm so happy to hear that, Gail. That's a, that's remarkable. Praise the Lord. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it's going in the right direction now. And I told my brother, guess what? I'm not dying anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure he was happy to hear that. <laughs> wow, that's beautiful. Have you noticed anything else? Uh, as if that isn't enough. <laughs> I mean, that's wow. so exciting. Now, in terms of energy, a little bit, but not a whole lot. I think most of the energy is going toward healing my body. And I'm still not gaining any weight. And I still have quite a bit of pain. I'm still on pain medication. I've, I've got a lot going on in my belly. And I figured to gain weight, I, the organs are going to have to heal. And, oh, the other thing I, I wanted to share, too. And I think this is really important because I don't have a colon. I have an ileostomy. I have a plastic bag on my stomach. Oh. Yeah. And I've had, that. I've had that 23 years and a lot of people have it and other people don't know because it's hidden under clothes. And I spent most of my adult life having that and hiding it, not talking about it because I believe what we focus on, we get more of. Mm -hmm. And I want to focus on that. Yeah. I wanted to focus on living. I didn't want to talk about it. And I didn't want to be known as the girl with the plastic bag on her stomach. But I'm outing myself now. And uh, I used to, too, at uh, support groups, because I'd go speak at the support groups. And 
I want that community to know I'm going to be replumbed. <laughs> I'm awesome. really going to have a redo. I mean, yeah. when they hook me back up again and I've got new intestines and uh, I, I, I mean, it's amazing and that's going to happen. So I will be the poster child for them. So the reason you're coming out, do you feel like your confidence is improving or, or something in a emotional, mental capacity? No, no. I just want to share it post and pre art. Okay. Got I, it. I, I want that to be documented. Oh, it's going to be girl. <laughs> yeah. Cause it's similar to growing new limbs and new organs, but I'm going to get totally replumbed. <laughs> yeah. You know what I heard the other day? I was, I love listening to health stuff. Like uh, whenever I'm listening to anything, it's about health. And some, this lady said that your digestive system is not inside your body because it starts here and it ends down there. And it's this whole unique pathway in and of itself. And I've heard that once before, but I, it just struck me this time because it's not like everything is inside this, this tube essentially. And, um, it was just really fascinating the way she explained everything with digestion. So, but the reason I asked you if there was anything else, because you did fill out a form when you came to, when you booked your call and I read something about your eyelashes. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of small, but, and when it happened, it was kind of cool that my eyelashes were thicker and longer. And I thought priorities here, there's more important <laughs> things, but it did make me smile. Yeah, that's fun. And the pain, did you have some decrease in your abdominal, abdominal pain? Yeah, and that mass that was on top, it hurt. Every time I moved, it would hurt. And probably the one that was internal that was larger was probably doing the same thing. And so the pain is decreased, but I still have quite a bit. So okay. I've still got stuff cooking away in there. Yeah, I've got a lot going on. I'm really looking forward to the QR <laughs> So what are you going to do with a healthy 30 year old body, which, you know, bless your heart, you have not had a healthy body for most of your life, but now you're going to have a healthy, strong, vibrant body, but with all this wisdom and experience to go along with it. What, how's that going to make your life better? I know it's a, it's a really big deal on, in the sense that I was thinking at first about getting back to where I was, because despite all these health challenges that I've had, I was very active. And um, I want to get back to that. And then I thought I could even go back further. Like you said, I won't be encumbered by this chronic condition. I'll be able to do all kinds of things. First things I want to do is I love to dance. I'm, I'm a dancer. I used to ballroom dance, gliding mm -hmm. around on the dance floor. You know, I want that back. I'm happy when I move. I like moving. And I need to get back in water. And I haven't even been able to get in a pool this summer because I've got this pick line in my arm for hydration and I can't get it wet. Plus I'm scary. I, I go over to the pool at 80 pounds, skin and bones. I scare myself when I look in the mirror. So I'm looking forward to gliding around on the dance floor and splashing and playing in water. I feel happy in water, around water. I need to be around water. And then I was thinking, I'm a yoga person. I've done yoga all my life. I was a yoga teacher too. Oh. And I was thinking about, oh yeah, I can go back and do what I was doing. And then I thought, no, I can do power yoga now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I, do you like the hot yoga, the hot rooms? You know, I've never done it. So I've done, I've done the Bikram yoga, the hot yoga. I like the hot room, but I don't care for the Bikram because it's the same exact repetition mm -hmm. and it bores me, but, mm -hmm. um, but I like the whole hot room because I feel like you just move so well in the heat, you know? Yeah. So. I, I never felt like I was healthy enough to do that. So I didn't even try it. Although I did teach the Bikram some in a regular room. You know, there's people that like that repetition. There's a certain personality yeah. that, that is comforted by it. 
But oh, yeah. I agree with you. I personally thought it was boring. Yeah, my favorite yoga teacher teaches Saturday mornings and she does more of a restorative yoga, mm -hmm. but her class is never the same. You know, never. She's always doing something totally unique, which I, I love that. It's super fun. So awesome. What else are you going to do? So you're going to be active. You're going to work out a lot. What else? Anything else? Well, a couple things. I'm, I'm part of LWS. So of course, I'll hit the ground running doing that. It's exciting to be able to be young and have the energy to, to get started in that. So I look forward to that. And then personally, like I shared, was the um, dancing, the water. And then the whole idea that we'll be able to make different choices. And I'm thinking one of the reasons I chose not to have children was because of my chronic health issues. It would have been just very difficult and not the best thing to do. I could actually rethink that now. Yes. I might yes. choose to do that. You know, we can make totally different choices now. Were you on the Q and A call last Friday? Yeah. Did you hear what John said at the very end about the about having a baby post Q mm -hmm. arc and all that? Yes. That just made me get shivers everywhere because I'm like, nope, no more kids, no more pets. I want to travel and open centers and you know do all this stuff. And then I'm like, well, he just made me rethink that because what a life-changing experience that would be. And now as a parent, I have three boys. Knowing about the mistakes I made, I would like to have another chance to do it differently. You know, I mean, I'm really close to my kids. Don't get me wrong, but um, you know, I just wish we would have done different, different things with my husband and me and just everything. So I'm really rethinking that. Well, I still want to travel and like you're talking about, you know, open up the CACs and got projects in mind, busy, busy, but we're going to have tons of energy. We can do it all. You're right. We can, and we can, um, take them with us, you know, give them that experience as well. Why not? You know, they they'll be so educated. I would be homeschooling. I'm sure. Um, well, I don't know. Ron talks about the quantum education system. So that there's that too. Gosh, it just seems so amazing, Gail, doesn't it? It does all the possibilities. And the other issue I have too, is I've been single for a long time. And with my health situation, you know, I haven't been out dating or anything. And I'd really like to have a wonderful man to love in my life. Oh, well, you're a wonderful lady. You're, you will find them. Somebody was joking around, but I mean, I don't feel like it's a joke. I think it would be really awesome if, you know, post QR, they had like a dating site for people post QR only because, you know, if you're, if you're 60, right, you're 60 in age, but you're 30 in body. Do you go out with a 60 year old in age or do you go out with a 30 year old? Well, the ideal is to have somebody who's been in the QR, right? Exactly. I, I heard that back when, I don't know if it was in one of the testimonials or one of the calls, but yeah, I, I think it's a great idea. If somebody wants to start it up, I'd sign up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We should just joke, put that out there, you know? Uh -huh. um, so that's pretty awesome. And Ron actually said, when I was talking to him on the phone yesterday, that um, all the humanitarians are going to need the QR because they are going to need to last for a hundred years. Mm -hmm. And so by getting in the QR, it preps them for their, their service. Right. And that spreads it out as well. Like you were talking about how we need to get started with our work and travel and do all this stuff. We're going to have a lot of time. <laughs> oh yeah we can have the kids you know in a few years it doesn't have to be right away <laughs> oh yeah that's very true that's very true it's an exciting future we have I can't wait to see you after the QR have you taken any pictures of yourself like before and after uh, it's kind of scary I probably should right you're talking about just my, for yourself yeah, my body because it's scary um, but yes, but I probably should. Yeah. Just for yourself. I mean, you don't have to share it with anybody, but, um, I think it would be interesting for most of us to see, because I haven't interviewed anybody that's like, oh, I, I need to gain weight. 
So mm -hmm. it would be curious to see what happens post QR um, with that, because most people are like, oh, I want to go in the QR and lose weight. But it's going to be curious to see how it does, how if it will put on, you know, lean mass to you. Yeah, it'll be real interesting. I don't know what size clothes to bring. I, I oh, and I bought new underwear. I have not had regular sexy underwear in 23 years. I bought some new bikini underwear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. They're not that easy to find, to be honest, you know? Um. I have, well, okay, let me just put it this way. I was at Costco yesterday and I always look at everything and they don't have any good underwear there. They're all granny panties. And I told my husband one time, I said, you want me to wear that stuff like your mom? <laughs> He's like, no. <laughs> that's well, I found, I found some, so that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it'll be real interesting to see how the muscle mass comes back and how I gain weight again. So yeah, and what, how I'm going to come out of the, the arc, who know, I don't know. It'll be interesting. Yeah. Well, I look forward to seeing that. Will you come back and do a part two video with me? I would love to. Cool. I can't wait. That's going to be amazing. And what? Well, and and I, at some point, I want to share the pictures with you too, but I don't want them public. <laughs> yeah, no, I think it would be good. But you know, when you upload on the site, you can do private or public. So anything that you put in to the diary, it's private or public. Um, but I think it would be, I just want to see the contrast. Um, and what would you like Gail to say in closing? Hmm. How excited I am about this. And it truly is a do-over on so many levels. And I'm really happy to be in the forefront to be one of the pioneers. We're way showers. Oh yeah, for sure. And I'm really happy that you've already experienced such a massive benefit in three months pre QARC. You know, your body is accepting and receiving the wave so, so gracefully. So mm -hmm. that's exciting. Yeah. Well, my darling, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And I certainly look forward to having you back for part two. Me too. Okay. Awesome. Have a beautiful day, Gail. Oh, you too. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye for now. Thank you for making this QHS project fly. This Valorous Admin team, thank you. The key community welcomes you. Thank you for making your home QHS healthy and happy. Thank you for helping us place QH centers all around the world. Together, hand in hand, we make miracles happen. QuantumHealingSystems.org Thank you.